Hi again, this is Mr. Gagnon. Um, what we're going to look at today is um, how to calculate unknown sides from a right triangle. Okay, uh, let's begin by just uh, giving ourselves a little bit of information here, uh, trigonometry information. Okay, you guys remember this from math class, uh, Sokotoa. Okay, which tells us that the sine of an any angle and a right angle triangle is the opposite side over the adj of the uh, hypotenuse side. And with a cosine, Uh, the cosine of an angle is equivalent to the adjacent over the hypotenuse side. And with a tangent, the tangent of the angle equals the opposite side over the adjacent side. Okay, a lot of times um, it's confusing to figure out which side's which. Um, I'll make it easy for you guys. Okay, so let's just take a peek at a triangle. Okay, here it is. Here's our best, uh, the best right triangle that I can probably draw. Um, let's call this the angle that we're looking at. Now, opposite that angle is the opposite side. We know that the longest side of the triangle is the hypotenuse. And then um, the other side is the adjacent. Because you could all, you know, you, you might get the hypotenuse and the adjacent confused. But realize that you've already labeled the hypotenuse and you've already labeled the, the opposite side. The other side is the adjacent, adjacent side of the triangle. Okay? Now, if we call this the angle, then, our, then it changes. Okay, so that's how to label your triangles. All right, let's look at one example on how to, uh, how to do this. Okay, I'm going to give you an actual triangle with, uh, with a, an actual example here. So let's do that. Okay, let's say we've got a, um, again, like a tree over here. We want to find out how tall the tree is. Well, we could do a couple things, but what I would like to do is, is consider the tree to be a, a straight up and down tree. And we have a, uh, a known distance here. And we can measure some angle here. We'll call that 25 degrees. Okay. So the adjacent side is what we can figure out just by walking it off or taking a measurement. We'll call this 50 feet. Okay. The hypotenuse side might be hard to measure unless you have a string but the side that we're looking for is the opposite side so let's apply a little bit of trig to this okay we know that we're looking at the opposite side and the adjacent so you go back up here and we're going to use a tangent function so the tangent of an angle which is this one equals the opposite divided by the adjacent Okay, now it's just a matter of plugging in some numbers. Okay, tangent 25 equals opposite over adjacent. The adjacent's 50. Move that over a little bit. Okay. So in the calculator, if you find out what the tangent of uh, 25 is, okay, you can apply that to it. So let's actually do the, the algebra first. So to get the opposite side by itself, a little bit of algebra tells you that you multiply both sides by 50. So 50 times the tangent of 25 equals the opposite side. Okay? So let's do that here in the calculator. 50. 50, okay, so 
tangent 25 equals 0.46, 6. Multiply that by 50, you get 23. So that opposite side is about 23 feet. Okay, so all I did was I took 50, multiplied it by the tangent of 25, and I got the opposite side. I hope that helps, and um, I will be creating another video on how to use um, these functions to come up with the angles. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.